play devil's advocate here, okay? I'm gonna keep it a stack. I wasn't mad at Amber for this. The cheating part, the almost cheating part, yes, I was mad at her. Her being hurt that Mark just disappeared when all this shit went down, when he's her man, I understand being hurt. But at the same time, she told this nigga that she already knew he was invincible. So at the same time, she was just gaslighting this nigga, trying to make him feel bad when she already knew the reason he left her was to save her. Huh? Then... Why are we fighting? You made me feel stupid and unimportant. Trash. People of the internet, Bro, I come here as the era of bad news. You see, Mary Jane, a woman I dubbed the most I, toxic woman ever. I was just was about to say, I just watched that. The iceberg. If you didn't know recently, the Invincible hey, Season Amber. 2 trailer dropped, and it brought back memories. Memories of someone so vile, so, so toxic. I hate so, Amber. So, Fly away, fly boy. Stupid Amber from Invincible. And honestly, I fear that her character is starting to influence other characters. But we'll get to that later. If you don't know how she became the most hated side character ever, well, let me show you. So we first see Amber in episode one where she's getting hit on by, you know, the typical high school jock. Y'all know, the ones that talk like, if it isn't my main man, Fingleton. What's up, dude? That kind of guy. And she wasn't really feeling man, it. Man, That's when my boy Mark steps in. And this is before he got his powers. So, uh, you know what happens. But luckily, Amber being the independent woman she is, she comes in and kicks Todd right in his and Amber starts to admire Mark a little because, you know, it takes some courage to get whooped like that in front of the whole school. So fast forward a little, it Amber pretty nuts. much blackmails the bully Todd with, I guess, some old explicit pictures in order to get him to apologize to Mark and also give Mark her digits, which is a W. Amber making the first move? You would think with the way things started, this relationship was going to be amazing. So Mark and Amber set up, you know, their first <laughs> Yo, little honestly, study bro, date, fuck him, but I hate that bitch. I hate Amber, I hate Amber, I hate Amber, bro. When Mark has Dumb to go handle some superhero he business at Mount Rushmore. Uh, and Adam from Eve, Amber's bro. perspective, it looks like he's just ditching her. But I think Adam Eve died, really, didn't she? Which really, really messed up. But as Yo, I just remembered season two of Invincible. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all haven't watched it, but spoilers. Didn't fucking all of them die? Like, literally everyone that Invincible was friends with, didn't they all die? Like, that bitch that can make clones of herself, didn't she die? Didn't that nigga, the, uh, what's his name, Rex, didn't he die? That, like, they all fucking died. I was like, bro, is season two the final season of Invincible, bro? Because they're all dead. Everybody died. Except for Invincible, and I think maybe Adam Eve lived. I can't remember off the top of my head. We know Jesus. that's not the case, but we have to look at it from her perspective. Imagine you're constantly getting ditched by someone you like. Wouldn't feel too good. And it happened several times. He even misses out on the soup kitchen. But Amber and Mark rekindle again because, you know, he got hit. My issue isn't the... <sighs> okay, my issue isn't the fact that she was upset that he kept leaving her. My issue is the fact that... My issue is the fact that she knew this nigga was a superhero. And she was mad at him for lying to her about being a superhero. But it's like, I know we're dating, but in no way have you shown me that we're going to get married and be that couple. So why the fuck do I need to tell you that I'm a superhero? You think I just go around telling everyone I talk to that I'm a superhero? By a, a bus, which is really just intergalactic Mufasa destroying his insides. Pause, 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 pause. And so they decide to plan a trip to what is this college called? Upstate University. Probably the most straightforward name I've ever heard for a college. And this trip is the beginning of the end. So they arrive at the campus and everything's going calm. No, there's some her. people missing on campus, but psh, 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 that's fine. We're good. So they go to this one lecture and there's this guy. This guy with slick back hair, pink suit. Honestly, I would have saw him. I would have knew he was a super pink person. nigga. Who goes to a lecture I guess that in could a be whole pink suit? Salmon. Even the way he talks. Typical alpha male. Like, you know this man's into the whole blue pill, red pill, black pill stuff. Anyways, Amber called Typical him out for alpha being male. Weird. He gets kicked out of the classroom. <laughs> then we get this nice little montage of Amber and Mark enjoying the campus. And by the looks of it, everything is going amazing. Then suddenly, this evil cyborg appears appears and starts attacking people and destroying the campus and mark being the only superhero there he has to run off and suit up and come back as invincible and eventually the cyborg is defeated in a very gruesome way and she was and remember, mad nobody knows he's invincible so this was not a good look for mark like imagine you're with someone you love and they're supposed to protect you or whatever and stuff starts going crazy and you turn around and they're halfway down the block that is not a good look so amber starts crying and talk about how mark just abandoned her when they were in danger and this leads to amber ignoring mark giving him the cold shoulder and eventually going to this college party where she almost cheats on him she did okay 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 let me let me let me let, let's play devil's advocate here okay 
this part I wasn't mad at Amber for. I'm going to keep it a stack. I wasn't mad at Amber for this. The cheating part, the almost cheating part, yes, I was mad at her. But I, her being hurt that Mark just disappeared when all this shit went down, when she, he's, he's her man, I understand it. I understand being hurt. But at the same time, she told this nigga that she already knew he was invincible. So at the same time, she was just gaslighting this nigga, trying to make him feel bad when she already knew the reason he left her was to save her. If the dude didn't hit her with the, yeah, my girlfriend says the same stuff, bro, you know, you know. And yeah, I would she... give her a pass, but nah, bro. It don't matter yeah. if you're dating freaking Darth Vader. You don't cheat on someone. So they get back from the college trip, and this is when stuff goes down. So Mark starts apologizing to Amber, telling her he knows he hasn't been the best boyfriend, but he can change for her. Cause he loves her and that's what relationships are all about and then mark gets an idea <laughs> on how he can i love the way he edited that that was actually fucking hilarious that was a beautiful way to edit that scene right there oh my god exactly she was gonna Makes cheat sense. on that nigga he until he found time. out that the nigga yes, ladies and gentlemen, he, she was talking to was to a loyal nigga because surely she'll understand all his disappearances all his mishaps are because he's a freaking superhero out there saving people 24 hours a day seven days a week and that's exactly what he does and y'all know what happens y'all know what happens fucking fucking annoying bro not an idiot i figured it out weeks ago what, what? Literally my fucking point, bro. I think this was everybody's reaction when, when, when this part happened. Because it's like, you figured this shit out weeks ago and you still did this? Like, that's that's the part that makes everybody hate Amber. Is that she found out he was, a, he found out that he was invincible and still chose to be mad at him leaving her to save other people, including herself. She knew. She knew the whole time. The time he was late, she knew he was saving people. The time he got hit by that bus, she knew a bus couldn't have done that to him. At the college campus, she knew why he disappeared. So what were those tears for? Why My are you point. crying? She's a better actress than Mary Jane. Talking about Fact. you made me feel unimportant. Because you are. It's literally. I think. You know, I think in season two, they made Amber a lot more likable because they knew when they wrote this scene, everybody was like, no, we can't do Amber. Get him a different girlfriend. A secret identity. The whole point is it's a secret. And how long have y'all been dating? Less than a year? Less than half a year? And if not, that's what someone, I'm saying, if lot. you think I tell every girl that I ever date that I'm a superhero, everybody would know my secret identity, bro. Everybody. Because... Her girl, uh, that girl would go tell her homegirls, and her homegirl would tell her homegirls, and then it's all over the world. I then I guess I lie on a daily basis. Cause I don't just go around telling people I have a birthmark on my right ass cheek. That would be stupid and embarrassing. This scene just baffles me because it changes everything. She if said I it herself. Make, make the, the world, world you want to live in, and Mark's trying to make the world he wants to live in, and he's a bad person. Okay, I get it. If you want to break up with him, go ahead, but don't try to make him feel like a terrible person for not spending time with you instead of saving people talk about some exactly. damn soup kitchen ain't nobody give a damn about no soup kitchen and this whole getting mad about not revealing the secret identity trope doesn't end at amber because some of you might know there's a new show called my adventures with superman which is about my adventures with superman actually haven't starring watched this. Lois Lane. and spoilers ahead in episode five she also uh, gets mad at clark shit, same way man. amber got mad at mark for not revealing his identity and then she jumps off the building to prove herself right and this is probably the part of the video you probably expect me to trash on lois they took that oh i never watched this yet and she just pulled a mary jane what the fuck is with these comic book writers making these girls act like this i'm gonna jump off a building okay bitch what if you were wrong i know i mean that wasn't as bad because mary jane already knew spider-man was peter and that peter wanted to marry her that's different but at the same time bitch what if you were wrong what if Clark Kent wasn't actually Superman and you were just, you were like, you know what? He's got to be Superman. Let me jump off this building. And you were wrong. That's the thing that makes that, that like, that shit way too fucking extreme. Because what if you were wrong? You die. And talk about how she's exactly the same as Amber. And honestly, 
You could not be more right. Kidding, kidding. Well, I do really think <laughs> she did was stupid and a little toxic. It's not the same as Amber. These two are not the same scenario. Okay. Lois was upset because she was worried about Clark. And when she confronted yeah. him, she did not know he was Superman, leading to her getting mad for being lied to, quote unquote. Amber already knew for about three weeks, is clearly not that worried about Mark you saw during the college fight. And she can't mm -hmm. be mad because she chose to stay with him. If she really didn't like the superhero stuff that much, she could have broke up with him or brought it up to him the second she found out but no absolutely she's but lois isn't oh my either. god like i said it's still stupid why would clark tell you that he's superman if you're constantly saying to him oh i can't wait to expose superman secrets that just doesn't make sense and why literally jump off the building you could have just threatened to do it i know she's done it like four times but damn plus on the first episode lois is willing to risk clark and jimmy's job so she could get her scoop so can you really blame him for not trusting her like that i do appreciate the fact that lois is an actual character with flaws like she does stupid stuff but she gets called out on it amber on the other hand is perfect straight a student goes down mm -hmm. to the soup kitchen feeds the homeless the crackheads y'all know so she's never in the wrong even when she did the whole i already knew for three weeks thing everybody in the show was defending her eve Williams, which was they were nuts. making mark feel like he's the bad guy when in reality she is she was the one out here faking tears when she could have been maybe checking on william and his boyfriend after the robot attack making sure mark is okay giving Mark maybe a thank you for saving them because she knew he was invincible. I didn't Literally even hear her my point. William her condolences after he can't his express this, that, like he's expressing this exactly how it should be expressed because that shit doesn't make any fucking sense. You knew he was invincible. You knew the reason he left you there alone was so that he could in turn save you, and you still want to act like he's wrong. I, what did you want him to do? Just not put go put on his costume and fight that fucking cyborg and everybody would know his identity like bro if it's got turned into a freaking evil robocop and i know he ain't died but at least and i'm sorry i think what bugs me the most is that she decides to go back to mark when he's in a very vulnerable state after his dad just destroyed cities with his face and pretty much left to yeah that shit was kind of crazy he, he literally killed people on a train with mark's fucking head i thought that shit was nuts bro go get milk on another planet and even in those moments she still has a smart mouth i pieced it together i was marked that door would have been slammed right in her face <laughs> i don't know why mark doesn't just get up and be like you know what i'm gonna go be with eve because clearly that's what i'm saying why didn't he get with her bro superheroes and humans cannot be together because stuff like this happens i just don't like her man like she is not redeemable at all nope i don't care what she does in season two she could be saving freaking puppies from drowning in a lake of lava i still hate amber I'm not gonna lie to you, I still hate Amber. And even though I finish, I watched season two and they try to make her more likable, I still hate Amber. I don't care. I'll forgive Omni-Man before I forgive her. Because annoying girl, characters are on. worse than villains. And that's just a that's, fact. Who wrote that's her, fact. man? Like, who, who wrote her? I really want to know. Robert? Was it you, buddy? Huh? Huh? Or, or was it you, Simon, sitting in the back there all quiet? You know who Lois and Amber should aspire to be like? My boy, Jimmy. He completely understood that a secret identity is a secret identity for a reason. And that's why he's the GOAT, man. The GOAT! All this to the say, goat. Lois Lane and Amber may be a a little similar but they're not the same Lois shout out bianca character. belair lois has her flaws and you know sometimes we're not gonna like her but that's with anybody but amber i never like her i hate her oh my goodness only thing worse is like <laughs> jenny from forrest gump and skylar white, white. that's like bottom of the barrel but as for amber yeah she's definitely the most hated side character ever and moral of the story spent all this time worrying about you it's a secret identity you lied to me i'm trusting you now fine we'll do this the hard way insane i i said the same thing i said the same thing i said what if you were just wrong what 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 if you were just wrong <laughs> hey amber hate mary jane